Okay, guys, we are live. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Got a couple of really awesome questions to answer for everyone today. And also some great wins to share. Let's see if you're tuning in. All right. Oh, hi, Andrea. Looks like I see a couple of people on here now. Awesome. How's everybody doing? If you are totally new to the group, let me know. My name is Tiffany Higgins. I'm a CPA and founder of the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy. And you are in the best group in the world. Uh, you are in Have Your Cake and Eat It Too, and that is the motto of our company. We are here to help moms have their cake and eat it too, which basically means they get to be the kind of mom that they want to be while also being financially free and building wealth for their family and setting a great example for their kids as well. Um, no better way that you can do that by becoming a business owner. Hey, Justine. Um, hey, Lisa. How's it going? Uh, glad you are guys new to the group. Janelle, hi, good to see you. I love it when we have newbies on here. So if you're new, um, hi, Chelsea, let me know what questions you have as we go through this. Um, I'm happy to stay on as long as you guys need me, as long as you have questions. And I really, really, really love for these lives to be interactive. So everybody is usually at a different place in their journey on this process and their research on becoming a virtual bookkeeper. So I want to make sure I'm answering your questions. So don't be shy and don't, don't hesitate to hold back. Just post below any question you have, and I will answer it all uh, to the best of my ability. Um, hello, April. Glad to have you here as well. So um, I'll start off with uh, real quickly on our website here. So if you're totally new to the group, you may or may not have uh, seen our web, our, our book, our ebook. Let me move this over here. Make sure that last time I was trying to share and it didn't share. So I wanna make sure. Uh, hey, Richard, hey, Richard. Um, you are not the only guy. We have several. Uh, fellows in our academy as well. And there's quite a few dads and, and other men in this group also. So uh, you are not the lone wolf, but we would uh, love to help you on this journey as well. So tell me what questions you have as we're going through this. But if you guys are new to the group and you haven't grabbed a copy of my ebook, this is a really great place to get started. It's only $5.90. Um, and it's a qu quick read. It'll take you maybe about 90 minutes or so to read through it, a 37 page ebook. And it basically explains the entire process of the transition of our life. So it starts from where you are now and where I was before I started my bookkeeping business. And it walked, it walks you through the whole process. What did it look like for our family when we decided to start this bookkeeping business and how has it changed our lives? And there's even some actionable steps at the end for you to get started on your journey uh, to help determine if this is something that's right for you. So uh, a lot of my students say this is the best $6 they've ever spent. And it really helped them open their eyes to see what the possibilities that life has for in store for them. So um, this is a great place to start. If you've read the ebook and you're watching right now, let me know what you thought about it and uh, what questions that it brought up for you. I'd love to address those. Um, other quick aspects on the website. If you want to learn a little bit about more about myself or about my team, you can click here and you can see all the awesome lives that we've been able to impact as our business has grown and the people that are on our team. And also every Tuesday, like I mentioned at the beginning, I go live 11 a.m. Central Time and we talk, answer questions. Sometimes we interview prior students and, um, and things like that. So you can watch some of the replays here. And sometimes I talk about specific topics as well. You can always go to our website and watch those replays. We also have some videos of some students that um, have done interviews with us in the past and uh, their success story and their journeys are highlighted in these videos as well. And a lot of these ladies now are actually on our team and they are student mentors that coach in our program as well after they have gone through the program themselves, starting with no experience in bookkeeping or accounting. And now they have successful businesses and they're, they're so good at what they do that they come back and they coach. 
And so they started this journey just like you right at the very beginning with no knowledge of bookkeeping, uh, no knowledge of using QuickBooks, and they've turned it into um, huge businesses where they're making multiple multiple six figures a year. So super exciting stuff. You can read about some other student wins here as well. And then we also have this super awesome calculator where you can figure out exactly how much um, money you want to make and how many clients that equates to, and then also how many hours per week you can expect to do the work. So I'll let you guys play around with this, but uh, I'll do one example real quick. If you need $5,000 a month in order to feel comfortable quitting your corporate job, it's only gonna take you, um, you're only gonna need 10 super small clients, like small clients uh, to replace that $5,000 a month. And to put a little perspective on that, there's about 32 mil million businesses in operation in the US alone in any given year. And you only need 10 of those, 10 small ones. I'm talking super small, like a small painting company, um, a small real estate investor, a small construction company, a small roofer, something like that. So only 10. And then those 10, at first, when you're, when you're first working with them the first few months, uh, it takes a little bit more time to do their work and kind of get a uh, uh, rhythm down and a procedure in place. So you might be spending close to 16 to 17 hours a week. But after you've had these clients for a couple of months, you'll develop systems, you'll understand their spending habits, and you'll be able to be really efficient with their work. And you will be working 10 hours a week or less doing the books. So if you are working right now more than 10 hours a week, and making $5,000 a month, you will benefit financially from having a bookkeeping business. You will be able to, uh, you know, four to five times your take-home pay or reduce your hours by that much as well if you want the same take-home pay. So um, let's see, we've got some comments. Angie says, hi, Tiffany, thanks for everything. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, thank you for hard work and for enrolling in the academy and following all the steps and proving to all these other people that it can be done. It's possible. Chelsea says, a great ebook. Jessica says, I just filed for my LLC yesterday. Thank you for all that you do. All oh, awesome. Thank you, Jessica. Congratulations. That is a really awesome, fun and exciting first step. I love it. Uh, Chelsea says that is super encouraging, brand new with no experience. Yes, I love, love the question. I, just so you guys know, this entire group, all of the success that we have had, that we have helped other moms have, they are all brand new. I'm going to stop sharing just for a second because I really want to, I really want to hammer this home to you, especially since there's a lot of new people watching right now. This program is designed for people with no experience. We have people that have left the police force. We have people that were in dolphin training for 10 years. We have people that were uh, reality TV show producers. Uh, we have people that just did office clerical jobs before this. We've had students that were in the uh, vet clinic type of field and pharmacy technicians. I'm trying to think of all, all the different students. We've had people that have in-home daycares. Any of those positions, all of those people that I've named off that I've just given examples of, they've all become wildly successful doing this and their lives have changed radically. As a matter of fact, most of those people that I talked about have also retired their husbands as well. Um, so in addition to replacing their corporate job five times their actual take-home pay. They've also been able to cover all of their family's expenses. So if, if wanted, their husbands can retire and quit, help them in the business or you know, just help out with the kids or maybe do something else that, that their husband or their spouse is passionate about doing. So super, super exciting stuff. And I, I wanna make sure that everybody understands that this program is designed for beginners, for beginners, okay? We have very few people in our program that already were accountants and bookkeepers um, or already had this skill set. We do have a handful of them in there because they do understand the value of getting our assistance with all other things that are involved in growing a business like the sales the marketing, quoting, um, learning how to talk to people, uh, things like that, all the other aspects of growing a successful business and scaling it. So that way 
you can actually reach all these goals and reach your dreams, but you're enjoying the process the whole time because you're not alone. You're not um, making all these decisions by yourself. And you've got a, a team of awesome people there to help you and a huge community that's constantly supporting you. Uh, one of the things we talked about on a, a group coaching call yesterday was the fact that um, sometimes when you do something like this, people that are in your current circle might inadvertently and maybe not on purpose, but they might hold you back because they don't really understand the vision of what you have for your family and understand the goals and the vision that you can, you can reach with a bookkeeping business. So the cool thing about being in our bookkeeper Academy space is that you're going to have a second family that always pushes you up and supports you and encourages you and helps you reach those goals. So um, really awesome, supportive, fun stuff there. So let me go back to the website real quick. And you guys can go here and play around with this calculator. If your um, desired take-home pay is different than $5,000 a month, and you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like for you and, and how much that um, you would want, need to, to grow your business uh, to reach the revenue levels you want. And then what does that look like as far as how many hours a week are you putting in? So a great calculator. Um, if you're brand new to the, to the group as well, we have three different uh, options for you to get started. We have our full bookkeeping course. This is a, a DIY course that walks you through everything you need to know to get started. So it teaches you the basics, how to learn QuickBooks, um, how to understand financial statements, how to do uh, bookkeeping for multiple businesses. It even walks you through a full year of doing bookkeeping for a client so you can see the whole process from start to finish. And um, we have an entire section on how to provide amazing service to your client. What does a day in life of a bookkeeper look like? What is going to be, um, you know, your, what does this entail for you? How, how does this, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, like, how does your, how do you schedule, structure your life around this and your kids and your family? So what the flexibility is like for having a bookkeeping business. It also shows you how to onboard new clients, complete the work for the month and wrap them up for the year so that your clients are ready for tax time. We also have a whole section on how to set your business up for success so you can have all that back office stuff ready to roll before you actually launch your business. And then we have an entire section on marketing, like how exactly to do our students even find clients. So there's a whole section on that as well. Um, and the bookkeeping course is a DIY course no support comes along with it. So if you come across something different or something unique or your client has a question you haven't seen before, you're kind of on your own to figure out the answers to those questions. But if you join the Bookkeeper Academy, you will never have to be alone in, in any part, any aspect of your business. So if your client asks you a question and you're not sure, you come to the Academy and we will give you assistance and guidance on that. Because nine times out of 10, that question has been asked before to other people in our group and to our coaches. And our coaches can help you answer those questions. So not only do you understand for future reference, but you can go right back to your client and give them the information that they need. So um, there's a lot of value in, in having that. But we also give you the bookkeeping course for free. If you enroll directly into the Bookkeeper Academy, you get 12 months with our team in our community. And then on top of getting all of your questions answered in a private Facebook group, we have Zoom calls, usually multiple Zoom calls per day in the academy where you can get help. And some of those are even one-on-one -on -one help. So when you get your very first client, you get unlimited Zoom calls with our team members and they will walk you through all the steps of actually completing the work. So you know what that first client you will be a rock star. You'll be able to get it done efficiently, fast, and you'll be able to put all the pieces together and understand the entire process um, from start to finish and totally wow and impress your first client. And once you go through that process once, then it's really, really easy to understand it. And then you can replicate it for client two and three and four. And by the time you hit your fourth client, you're like an expert. You, it's, it's not that hard to become an expert in this. 80% of it is really data entry and learning how to use QuickBooks. 
And then 20% of it is skill level, like learning about financials, learning how to code transactions, learning when you need to seek the advice of someone in the, in the group or learn a little bit more about taxes. So uh, the ma good majority of it is something that you can catch on to very, very quick. And the rest of it just comes with practice. And we've got all the support in there that you need to ever be able to help any of your clients. So super, super awesome, exciting stuff. We even help you review financial statements. Um, and then we have an elite mastermind program, which is designed for the students in the academy that have reached that level of success. And now they want to go past that. They want to hire team members. They want to set up systems and put systems in place to scale and to be able to grow this business to becoming their empire, where they kind of step into actually being more of a CEO. So I actually just put together this new training haven't shared it with very many people yet um, that we're going to be releasing in a, a couple of weeks. And it is a blueprint, a roadmap on exactly how to get to owning a business, a bookkeeping business where you're making a million dollars a year and passive profit. So uh, it might take a couple of years for you to get to that point, but the Bookkeeper Academy is a start and then the elite mastermind is what will help you scale so that you can reach that crazy wild goal, which sounds crazy and wild, I'm sure, to a lot of you, but it is so doable, so doable. We have quite a few students on track for that already. Uh, if you like podcasts, you can um, check out some of my recent podcast interviews to learn a little bit more about some of our students and some of their experiences, and also to connect with some other really cool people that have interviewed me on podcasts. So I like to be on podcasts where they talk about, uh, you know, family freedom, RV travel, nomad life, you know, just really fun things like that. So you can um, hop on there and listen to some of those. And if you want to book a call with our team, you can click this link here. I'll also put it in the chat here. We are a, like a heart centered company, um, no pressure type of uh, calls. We just offer free calls to um, anybody in our group that would like to learn a little bit more of this and uh, more about this. And we'll explain the differences of the programs that we have in detail, but we'll learn more about your situation and your goals. So that way we can really help you decide if it's, you know, which one is going to be the right fit for you. Um, I'm going to hop over here and see what questions we have. You guys are awesome. Angie, you're melting my heart. So sweet. Um, Jessica said, I did the bookkeeping course, but I really want access to the academy. Can I apply what was already paid to get into the academy? Great question, Jessica. If you did recently purchase the bookkeeping course, we do offer a, um, a, a credit basically to the academy for that. So if it's a, if it's a somewhat recent purchase, yes, absolutely. So the best thing to do, Jessica, would be to book a call with our team. If you've already talked to uh, Tiffany Ware or Eileen Hirsch, then you can go ahead and reach back out to them and they can get you all the information that you need for enrolling in the academy. Um, if you haven't talked to either one of them yet, then just grab a, a spot on our calendar and we can we can coordinate with you and get you all the details. So absolutely, absolutely. Um, Mark Marquetta said, can we sign up for the Academy financing through business instead of personal credit? Ready to get started, but working on personal credit. Okay, awesome. So that is an option. Let me share with you guys. Let me get this link for you guys real quick. I'm gonna share one thing. Um, we do have a new partner that we are working with that is helping all of our students with setting up their LLCs um, and also with getting business credit. So this is definitely something that you can do. And I would suggest going to this link, I'm gonna post it in here in one second, um, go to this link and book a free call with our partners. I'm gonna type this in here, um, free consult. Um, with Prime Corporate Services. And what this company will do is help you get your LLC established and set up. And then they also have business funding options for you. I don't know if it's something that would be 
uh, quick. It might be something just like with your personal credit that you're going to have to build up over time, but it wouldn't hurt to hop on this call and at least get your LLC established with them so that you can start working on your business credit. Great, great question. Um, if you're working on your personal credit, that's a great thing to do as well, but you might also chat with our team if you haven't already, because some of the funding specialists and the partners that we use, they still will do uh, funding and credit for even if you have a little bit of credit issues. So uh, if you haven't already booked a call, Marketa, with our team, go ahead and do that. And we can also give you the options of current funding with personal credit. And then you can always refinance that under your business credit uh, down the road once you get your business credit established. So what a great question. I don't think anyone's ever asked that. Uh, Crystal says, if I am interested but not sure that I would enjoy a bookkeeping business and not ready for the academy, what would you suggest I do to help me decide if I would actually enjoy a bookkeeping business? That is a, a great question. So um, a couple of things to note with the part about enjoying the business. There are when you are a business owner, you are going to wear a bazillion different hats. And in the course of that, there's definitely going to be some things that you might not love about owning a book, bookkeeping business and other things that you might love. So for example, you may be somebody that actually really loves to do bookkeeping, but maybe you hate doing marketing or sales. Um, and you kind of have to do a little bit of marketing and sales in order to grow your business. Um, but in that, so that's a little bit of a harder situation because you really have to be the one to do the marketing and sales. But let's say you hate doing bookkeeping. If you get started in this business and then you realize that you hate doing bookkeeping, but you actually really like growing a business and you're good at marketing and sales, then it's very, very easy to hire other people to do the bookkeeping piece for you. And that's how you grow a business that ends up being more on the passive side for you because you're going to have team members that can implement the work. So I, I think with any business that you have, you're not going to love 100% of it all the time. So that's something to think about. But as far as like actually doing the work and enjoying the work, you could enroll in the bookkeeping course and go through uh, so specifically the mini course would be a good one to start with if you haven't, if you don't have access to the full bookkeeping course, and that will show you the whole process and how to do it. So um, that's something to think about. But just to give you an idea, all sorts of walks of life have come into this and decided that they enjoy it. They, they may not enjoy every aspect. Like some people hate doing payrolls. Some people hate doing sales tax. Some people actually really hate doing the bookkeeping, but they love all the other aspects, helping business owners, um, marketing, sales, getting that money in, having that freedom and the flexible life and uh, being able to work less for more than you currently do now. So it's kind of a trade-off, but uh, Crystal, another really great idea too would just be to book a call with us because we can help. And uh, it's a little bit easier than on these lives. Like I would, I, what I want to know is like, what are you interested in and what kind of stuff uh, is a goal for you? What are, what are your goals? What are your thoughts and plans for the next like 12 months, three years, five years? What does that look like for you in a perfect world? And I think uh, talking through with that, with our, with our team on the discovery call would really provide you some clarity on whether or not this is a, a good next step for you. So hopefully that helped. If you want to put more feedback on, on this and I can give you some more insight, happy to do so, but you're also welcome to book a call with our team so we can talk to you about it on a more like actual deep personal level, that would be a great idea. Um, and uh, um, let's see. Okay. I'm just skipping around on these questions here. Uh, okay. Chelsea says, do you get an actual bookkeeping cer certification through these courses? Is a certification needed to be really successful? Wonderful question. You do not need any kind of certification or degree or anything to be successful at that. And I can say that with 100% confidence and certainty because I have hundreds and hundreds of moms that have gone through this program and have gotten a lot of clients and have replaced their salaries 
quadrupled their salaries and are working from home now and they don't have certifications, they don't have degrees in this. You can at first, if you're feeling like you need something to help you with your confidence level, you can go through the free QuickBooks Pro Advisor training and become a certified pro advisor. However, all it is is a title, a certification, just like with every other test and degree and certification that I've gotten in the past, it has nothing to do with the actual work that you're going to be performing as a bookkeeper. And the test is purposely confusing and tricky. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. If you decide to do the QuickBooks Pro Advisor test, that you focus on just getting it done so you have that certification and don't let it be a marker for, am I going to be good at bookkeeping, having a bookkeeping business or not? Because it has no bearings on actually what we do as bookkeepers, but it is a nice certification to have if you feel like you need that. There are many, many students in our academy that don't feel the need to do that and they never get their QuickBooks Pro Advisor certification. And as a matter of fact, I've talked quite a few people out of finishing their accounting degrees, getting their master's degrees and getting their CPA license. It doesn't matter if you get do all that stuff. It literally will not bring you any more joy. It will not bring you any more money and it will not bring you any more freedom. So you can learn everything that you need to know in the academy to make gobs of money and work a few amount of hours as that you want to work and you don't even need to sacrifice any more time going to school or getting any certifications. So as far as like an actual certification through our program, uh, we used to have it set up where you had a course completion certificate, but it doesn't really mean anything. Quite honestly, it's just, you got your course done. What really means the most is that you have a life transformation. You are now working at home with your kid. You don't have to put them in daycare or whatever your family goals are. You're traveling around. You know, for, for Ashley, for example, Ashley is now one of our student mentors. She joined, she joined the group. She was a teacher and she had a toddler, a baby at home, and she didn't want to leave the baby anymore. So she decided I'm not going back to teaching. So she started this business and her goal really was to just be able to replace her teacher's salary so she can stay home with her kids, her kid. And then during this process, she got pregnant with and gave birth to her second child, which she has never had to leave ever and can be home. And she's making more money now than she was as a teacher and has never had to leave her kids um, through that whole process. So that is all the certification that you need. You know what I mean? So certifications are really just for other people. And we don't really, you don't really need those to get clients. And um, especially with the way that we coach you to uh, market yourself and to talk to potential clients, most of the time, it doesn't even come up. Nobody even asks. So it's really great. Um, Jessica says, I'm set for a call next week. Thank you so much. Awesome. Congratulations, Jessica. Let me know if, if you want to book a call for this week. If there wasn't any availability, let me know because occasionally our calendar system glitches and it doesn't show open slots. So if you want to get in sooner and it doesn't show anything, please let me know because we can we can bump you up. Um, Rosalind says, how much is the monthly fee to join the academy? Uh, right now, we don't offer internal payment plans. So the monthly investment is dependent on our funding specialist. And that's really on a case by case basis with each person, depending on the interest rate and the terms that you want to use. So if you if Rosman, I think maybe you've had a previous call with someone. If you have, reach out to them. If not, book a call with us and we can kind of go over your options, help you get pre-qualified um, for the academy. I, it does just a soft, a soft pull on your credit so it doesn't hurt your credit in any way. And then you'll, you'll be able to see what the options are specifically for you in your situation. But I believe most people, when they go through funding, it's anywhere from like depending on the length of the terms, like 300 ish dollars a month, three to $400 a month to enroll in the Academy, which ironically enough is what we recommend that you charge one client. So by the time you get your second client, you're profitable in, in the bookkeeping business. And usually if you have time to devote to this right out of the gate, you're going to get your first and second client within the first month or so of being in the Academy. So you're going to have 11 full months of working with us. That's sheer profit for you, sheer profit. So super exciting. Um, Aaliyah 
says, I just finished the ebook. It was so insightful, feeling very inspired to start my business. Awesome. Yay. Make sure you book a call with us so we can help you set your goals and set your intentions for what your next step is. Um, Angie says my business wouldn't be what it is without the Academy. It was an amazing year. And this year is already providing great results and opportunities. Yay. Awesome. I'm so excited to hear that. Definitely keep sharing those results and those wins. I love to hear it. It's so exciting. Um, Marquetta says I'm doing taxes. So to start on the bookkeeping side will help the business success. Oh, absolutely. Um, you will be shocked Marquetta if you're already doing and if I'm saying your name wrong please tell me how to pronounce it but if you're already doing taxes you already have a huge pool of clients um, that trust you and that you can just easily cross sell uh, into into doing bookkeeping and bookkeeping is so much more steady it's in my opinion so much more profitable and it's just so much more relaxing of a lifestyle you could even slowly phase out some of your tax clients so that you don't have a heavy tax season too at some point. Um, let's see. Uh, Alea says, how can I pay myself once I set up my business as an LLC? So as an LLC, you are not actually ever going to be on payroll officially. So all you have to do whenever you want the money out of your business account is transfer it from your business account to your personal account. And then you can use that money for personal. So super easy. So when you make money from your bookkeeping business, it goes into your business account. Then you can pay any expenses out of that that you might have. Like they're very minimal, like um, six to $12 a month for your email and uh, maybe 30 bucks a month for your insurance, your errors and emissions insurance. That's all you really would have when you start out. And then you could transfer the rest of it to your personal account to use to pay bills or grocery shopping or go to the movies um, or whatever. So all you have to do is transfer funds. And when you, uh, when you do that in your accounting software, you just code it as an owner's draw or an owner's distribution. Um, and so I, let me know if you guys have more questions on that. Uh, uh, Liliani, Liliani says, can I just do bookkeeping and not the payroll and taxes? Absolutely. Yes. So we actually don't recommend that you do income taxes unless you enjoy doing that. As you've gotten your bookkeeping business established, we do have a program where you can learn to prepare taxes as well. However, we don't recommend doing that at the beginning, especially if you're new. We recommend partnering with a tax person and then that tax person will feed you bookkeeping clients and you will feed your bookkeeping clients to the tax person when your bookkeeping clients need tax help. So it makes it really easy for you to have a very simple business. Payroll is kind of a gray area. Sometimes it's nice to do payroll for clients because they need it. And we show you in the academy, we show you exactly how to set up payroll using Gusto as our partner. And that way it's totally hands off. Um, you help them set it up, you get paid for setting it up, you might get a monthly fee for processing it for them, but then the Gusto platform takes care of most everything else. They file all the reports, they make all the tax payments and everything. So it's pretty hands-off. It's just another way for you guys to make, make some more money. But if you aren't comfortable with payroll, then you can just stick with bookkeeping and find a tax expert that also likes to do payroll so you can send him payroll as well. So very flexible. And if you do bookkeeping, you can keep your business super simple so it's not hard, it's not stressful, and it's still incredibly profitable, incredibly high profit margin that you're going to be able to keep most of what you make in your business and use it in your personal life because that's what this is all about don't want to have a business where 50 to 60 to 70% of it goes right back into your business. You want to keep that money and that's how you transform your personal life. So, um, and we can do that with a bookkeeping business, keeping it super simple and the high profitability that a bookkeeping business has, because there's no overhead. There's very, very little expenses that you have each month. Like, like I mentioned, your email address is like six bucks a month. And then when you get your first client, you want to have errors and emissions insurance, which ranges from 25 to $30 a month. That's it. Pretty much it. You already have a computer. Most people have a laptop or a computer of some sort, and you already pay for internet at home. So really, those are the only things that you need to, to as ongoing expenses. When you do first start, you will also want to set up your LLC. So that's a one-time fee, typically, 
depending on what state you're in, um, it might be an annual fee, uh, but that's really uh, not an ongoing monthly one, but it could be a one-time or an annual fee. Very low, very low ongoing expenses. Oh, let's see. Mary says, I'm super knowledgeable in QuickBooks and how to reconcile after working for Intuit for eight years. Awesome. Uh, now I want to work on growing my own business, but I don't know what account transactions should go to like office expense versus another type of expense account, how to get clients without using QuickBooks pro advisor, um, and conflict of interest due to being an Intuit employee oh, without using QuickBooks pro advisor. Yes. And what questions to ask potential clients, et cetera. What would you suggest for me? Uh, Mary, I would highly, highly suggest the academy for you because your, your unique skill set can be leveraged, but there is going to be, it sounds like quite a few gaps in your knowledge that we can constantly fill in in the academy. So you have a very solid foundation and then can take your bookkeeping business and scale it to whatever you want to. So as far as like understanding how to categorize transactions, um, we help with that all day, every day in the, in the um, academy. So you can ask on Zoom calls or post in our private Facebook group, hey, my client spent this money to this vendor. How do we categorize that? And we can help you answer those questions. But also when you're in the academy, you get access to our full uh, tax tutor tax training course. And it, show, it tells you everything that you need to know about how to prepare bookkeeping financial statements so that they are ready for the tax person. And you understand a little bit about tax law and how taxes are put together. And that really helps you understand how to code and classify all of these transactions. So great question. And then as far as like getting clients without using QuickBooks Pro Advisor, we talk about that all day, every day in the um, academy as well. And we have a call every week specifically dedicated to the most latest and most innovative and most um, effective marketing tools out there and tactics and, and uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, I have not plan, but like a marketing plan. Um, so we can help you execute that. We do have some students in the academy that get clients using the QuickBooks Pro Advisor site, but the majority of our students aren't QuickBooks Pro Advisors, so they don't necessarily use that site. So you could definitely grow your business without having to worry about um, avoiding being on the QuickBooks Pro Advisor site. So Mary, I would suggest booking a call with our team so we can talk about your goals and your plans and see how that fits into what we offer and if we can help. Um, Marquetta, do you also help in getting into notary to add to the business? Uh, no, we actually don't have a separate lesson or anything like that on notary services. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't know for sure what the effective hourly rate is for notary services. I think that can be a somewhat profitable side service to add. Um, however, most of our students in the bookkeeping world make a hundred to $150 an hour doing their bookkeeping work. So if you are going to add notary services to your repertoire of services that you want to offer, just make sure that you're going to be able to make that much money. Otherwise you could potentially be like losing out on growing your more profitable bookkeeping business um, by doing notary services, but it would be a very complimentary service that you could add alongside it. Great question. Crystal said, I did have, oh, one more thing I want to say about the notary thing. So typically with the notary businesses, and this is why I love bookkeeping businesses so much um, more than like the notary ones is that the, and, and, and similar businesses to the notary, a lot of times when someone needs something notarized, it's going to be like a new client. So like, you're always going to have to be out there marketing, um, looking for new clients, looking for people that need notary services. But for bookkeeping, once you get that base level of clients, it's reoccurring revenue every month. So you can literally stop marketing and your business will still grow because you're going to have all of your current clients and they will start referring people to you and they'll need more services and their business will grow. So your income will grow. And it's just like, it's just, you don't have to hustle 
as long like you do in other, in other businesses. You literally can just turn off your marketing and new clients will come out of the woodwork. So that's one really cool thing I like about, about the bookkeeping business. And we were on our coaching call yesterday and a lot of the student mentors, our coaches in the program validated that for me too. And they, they all, by the time you're at the 12 month in the academy, sometimes even earlier, you don't even have to market anymore because so many people are just coming out and finding you um, and getting recommended to you by so many of their peers because so many people know what you do and, and they, they like what you do. So a cool feature, a cool side note of how awesome it is to have a bookkeeping business. Um, let's see. Uh, Crystal said, I did have a call. I was told the Academy was not for me at the time. So I'm looking to figure out how to get to the point of knowing if it's right. Okay, so if, if they just determined that the academy was not quite the right fit for you, it could have been a couple of things. Maybe you have just super small goals. And I think if you're only wanting to make like 500 or thousand dollars a month, doing the DIY course is probably gonna be, give you sufficient enough knowledge to find a couple of clients, one or two clients. If you want to really replace your nine to five and leave, um, your corporate job and you really want to make like three, four, five thousand dollars a month and you really want to make this a business, the academy is definitely going to be necessary. Um, so feel free to send me, Crystal, if you want to send me a, a private message and share a little bit more of your details on your situation. I'm happy to um, offer my insight as well. Heidi said, do you cover in your academy how to start getting clients when many of them want experience and I don't have any? I got the ebook, but don't know where to start. Yes, we do. We cover that all the time. We actually just did a special training about two weeks ago in the academy on exactly how do you talk to new clients and get a client if you have no experience? So what do you need to do in order to uh, instill trust and confidence in your prospect and the person that you're talking to so that number one, they trust you. Number two, they want to hire you. And number three, they don't even necessarily ask you about your experience because you are coming to the conversation in a way in which they don't feel even the need to ask you that question. Um, and of course, we don't want anyone to ever lie, but if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. And if you want to be honest, you can always say, I just launched my business this year and I'm getting some traction. I'm excited to help you. I am part of a network of other bookkeepers and CPAs that can help me. If we get into a situation where you have a question and I'm not hundred percent sure of the answer, I can find it out for you. So having that level of confidence, and that's what the bookkeeper Academy does for our students. It gives them that level of confidence that they know if a question comes up from one of their clients, they're probably not going to know the answer, but someone else in our group will. And that's the thing too, with this industry is uh, with taxes and everything, the tax law changes all the time. So you're never going to know everything anyway. Uh, so getting used to feeling like that, getting used to knowing that having a response ready for your potential clients or your actual clients. So when they ask you something, you don't feel on the spot um, and that you can say, that's a great question. Uh, before I give you an answer, I want to look into a couple things and then I'll get back with you. Does that sound good? You know, just having some, a handful of those responses already typed out so you can be ready if you get asked that. So you, you don't ever feel on the spot because you don't have to have all the answers. Nobody does. And you don't have to be perfect. You know, um, Angela says she has a call for Thursday. Awesome. Kelly says, I am joining the Academy today. Yay, congratulations, Kelly, I'm excited. Just waiting on my invoice to make payment. We can't wait for you to get started. Yay, that's awesome. Congratulations, you're gonna love it. Um, Janelle says, okay, so very beginner question compared to all these others, <laughs> sorry, never apologize. First of all, every single person in this group and in our academy was in these beginner shoes at some point. So we love beginner questions and your question is helping hundreds of people. Trust, it definitely is. Um, okay, so she says, but I got on QuickBooks for the first time today and I had seen where someone in the Facebook group said it was free to join as an accountant. Yes, so I went through that and it came up where it wanted my business name. How do I go about that? Oh yeah, that's super easy. Just put your name in there. Just put uh, Janelle Turley in there and you can always change it. You can change it anytime. In our course, we actually have a video showing you how to change your name and email address on your QuickBooks 
accountant account uh, later on. So don't worry, you can change any of that at any point in time that you want. So that was an easy question and I love easy questions. So thank you, Janelle, for asking that. Uh, Akira says, I'm a musician. Do you know if I could run music and bookkeeping business at the same time? I don't see why not. Um, I have a couple of people that are running bookkeeping businesses that are in like stand-up comedy and, and things like that, that they do as a hobby in their free time. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the live, Mora was uh, an, a producer for a like reality TV show before she started her bookkeeping business. So you can do lots of things simultaneously. You know, a lot of people are being uh, stay at home moms and growing their families and homeschooling and everything right alongside of doing a bookkeeping business. So if you are still wanting to pursue a, a, a musician career and running your bookkeeping business at the same time, you can definitely do that. Um, a cool thing is also too in the academy, um, I run into a lot of like different people uh, that I network with. And I, I actually have come across a couple of people that help musicians um, make money in their careers too. So connecting you with people like that, uh, I do that all the time for people in the academy as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I'm curious, what kind of music do you do? What, what are your goals for your, for the musician side? That'd be um, something that would be interesting for me to know, to help you. Oh, uh, let's see. Rosman says, yes, I got the phone call and I have your course. I really need to get started, but I need help with everything. I'm not an entrepreneur, but would love to be one. And I am so scared. I remember you saying you have tutors for UK students. Yep. Does the Academy provide a QuickBooks course or do we have to provide it ourselves? Uh, yes, Rosman, we have everything that you would need. We have a lot of stuff in place to help students just like you get started. So, um, on occasion, everyone asks me when they get in the academy, how quick can I make my money? How quick can I get a client? And honestly, the truth is you can get your first client in a week if you really want to. Uh, but what we see sometimes for some people is they have some other mindset issues that they need to work through first. So it can take a couple of months to get your first client if that is the case. And so for Rosman, for you, if you're really nervous, you're really apprehensive, you got a lot of things that you might need to help deal with so that you can break past some of these fears that are kind of holding you back. Um, that's what we would help focus on with you first and help you get past that. And we have um, lots of different options in the group to help that. We have uh, mindset calls every week. We have a book club where we specifically go over a book that's gonna help you with these particular issues that you're facing. And then we have emotional freedom technique coaches that come in and help you. It's specifically designed to help you break past any barriers that are holding you back from success. And uh, oddly enough, our UK coach, uh, has had a bookkeeping business in the UK in the past and is very, very knowledgeable on all aspects of growing and operating a bookkeeping business in the UK. But she's also a life coach and she also helps people process uh, mindset blocks and roadblocks to help you get past anything that's holding you back from getting success in your business. So, um, and we do have an entire UK specific curriculum that you will be able to go through as well. So, um, definitely. Uh, hop on a call if you are thinking about joining us, Rosman. Uh, Chelsea says, is the Academy self-paced? Yes, it, it absolutely is. We are here to help you work at whatever speed is going to be best for you, your family, your situation, and your goals. And this is the reason why we give you a full 12 months in our Academy. Most coaching programs out there I, most of the ones that I've seen, like the ones that I join, very few of them are more than 12 weeks. Um, some of them are six months, uh, but we do 12 months in our, in our group because we specifically want to make sure that we give the working mom, the stay at home mom, enough flexibility to be able to learn everything they need to know and to grow the kind of business that they want, but do it on their schedule. We don't want you to constantly feel like you're rushing and sacrificing your time with your kids. We want you to do this on your schedule and reach your goals. And if that means you want to work 
less because you want to be there for your kids, or you, maybe you're pregnant, or maybe you have an infant at home, or maybe you're homeschooling, um, you know, your timeline might be slower or different than someone else's. So it's totally self-paced and you can go however fast or slow that you want in the academy. Yes, absolutely. But we are also set up to help you. If you want to go fast, you can go fast. Christina hit over a hundred K her first year in, in being in the academy. So in the, in the 12 months of being in the academy, I think she brought in like around $114,000 and uh, she hustled. She wanted, she wanted to hit that and she wanted to replace her, her police officer salary. So um, either way is doable. And the, the beauty of it is this is your situation, your family, your goals. So we'll do whatever it takes to help you reach those goals. And even if you do move at a slow, slow pace, you are setting the foundation and you're learning all the skills necessary that in years to come, you'll be able to continue to scale your business and continue, continue to grow with that foundation that we've helped you build in the 12 months of being in the academy. So great question. Uh, Akira says, thanks for your reply. I am a pianist and I mostly play classical music. Beautiful. It's my passion and I had my main focus in life, but I wanted to help my family financially. So I thought bookkeeping would be something good. Yeah, absolutely. And the really great thing about that is you can do your pianist and play classical music as your hobby. You can still do that um, and you can have both. And actually that will be something that'll help keep you very centered and very grounded. Um, actually, we do have, I just wanted to think about this. I think uh, Mariah is in our academy and she's a singer. I think she might also play the piano and she does videos of her singing and playing the piano on her Facebook account. And boy, does that make her memorable? Like her bookkeeping clients don't ever forget that. And so you could even create your own little bookkeeping tunes and even do like funny spoofs on uh, maybe playing playing music and and having somebody sing a bookkeeping song or something you could turn it into marketing so it'd be very memorable it would really help you get clients too um, and I and you can help other musicians and creatives with their books too absolutely that's what's really great about how we have all different walks of life in our bookkeeper academy it's not just the traditional accountant um, that you see, it's everyone from all walks of life, all backgrounds, and you can speak their language already, Akira. You can talk to them and relate to them on a musician type level and then be able to help them with their books. And that is so powerful because they will feel so connected to you and will trust you. And that's what's what it's all about. People want to work with bookkeepers um, because they trust them and they like them and they feel like they can communicate with them. It, it's more about that than it is about knowledge and skill level and certifications. That's why so many of my students have been so successful without having any certifications because they're likable and they're friendly and they can relate to people. And that's what really what it's all about. So great idea. Yeah. Leveraging those experiences, even though um, being brand new poses some potential weakness for people, but you can leverage your experiences to make them, um, make them something that's actually going to uh, help your business grow and help you succeed in this. Um, let's see. I have a couple of people had asked questions. So Kylie asked a question. Um, I'm this was from a post, uh, I think last night. I'm brand new and want to use my tax return to invest in the academy, which is a great idea, guys, especially because you can write off the investment later. I'm currently unemployed with four children ages five and under and 33 re weeks pregnant. You are busy. You're busier than me. I'm getting some negative reactions to investing this kind of money when I could use it for so many things. However, I need to become financially independent and break the cycle I'm in after each pregnancy and having trouble staying in the workforce because of illnesses and time off that's needed for various reasons. Would someone, academy students be willing to share their stories or tell me if they think it's worth the investment? I think the extra assurance will help those in my close circle feel more comfortable. And you have 12 years of AP and AR experience and some bookkeeping. So you do have a little experience. Awesome. So Kylie is, you're definitely thinking um, correctly about wanting to utilize your funds to invest in the academy instead of just band-aid fixing the current problems. So 
you know, obviously we would love for you to invest in the academy, but from like an actual, like mom to mom, like real life conversation here, if you have the opportunity to take that money and that's going to change your future forever versus just taking that money and maybe catching up on your rent or catching up on your bills. And then you're right back where you were the next month. You know, it's really smart to think about that. Think about outside the box, because what happens when you invest into the academy is you take that money and you're, you're basically planting the seed of a money tree. I haven't used this analogy in a while. I love using this. You literally are planting a seed. You're growing a tree that is just going to be shedding money for you. Does it take work to grow that tree? Absolutely. Are you going to have to water it? And you're going to have to give it nutrients. Absolutely. That's your business. You're going to have to work it. You're going to have to work on yourself, your mindset. You're going to have to follow the steps in the program. But just by doing all that, just by taking action, walking, taking one step forward, you're going to be sprouting this amazing tree that is going to provide for you and your family for years and years and years to come. Uh, Michaelina, you're in the same boat as Kylie. Yes. It's really hard. I, I can totally relate because about 11 years ago, guys, I was a single mom. I was on food stamps. I had a really tiny shitty apartment that I could barely pay for. And this is one of the ways that I turned it all around. And I was able to see, it's hard to see when you're in that spot. It feels like making a hundred or $200,000 a year is just so far off but it's not, it's only maybe a couple of years off from that, maybe even less, depending on how much time you have to put into this. Um, so it's, it, I would highly suggest, even if you don't invest in this, that you invest that money in something that's going to turn your, turn your situation around. So um, great. That was such a great question. Uh, Laura Linos also asked last week as a current stay at home mom, I'm most excited about working while the kids are in bed. Is it possible to get clients without an initial phone call? How much time should I expect to spend on calls before I have a base of clients that I need? And then how many phone calls would be needed to maintain those clients? I don't think phone calls during business hours is a reasonable expectation at this point in my life. Okay, so when I read that, I definitely understand and relate to the feeling of nervousness of speaking with someone on the phone. Um, we help students overcome that fear all the time in our academy on our mindset calls. Um, but what I want to say to that is what's really cool is even though you are going to have to be pushed out of your comfort zone a little bit and you will have to occasionally get on calls, it actually is very slim that you're on calls. So here, here's a progression of like how you're actually going to talk to people through this whole process. At first, when you're marketing, it's basically all done. Email, Facebook groups, Facebook messenger, texting. And the whole point of that is to get them on the phone. Okay. Then you get them on the phone call and you ask them questions and they talk, you listen, they talk, you listen, you write down notes, you ask them more questions. They talk, you write down notes. You say, okay, let's hop back on a call in two days. I want to put together a proposal for you and we'll go over it then. So then you hang up and then you write all that down. You come to the quoting calls, you come to the academy and you get help on how to quote this person. Then you get on the call with them in two days and you say, okay, I just want to recap our conversation. Here's everything that you said that you like about your situation that you don't like all the things that you want to change that you need help with. Here's what I can do for you. Here's how much the investment is. And then you just wait. And then they sign up. Once they sign up, you, you email them an engagement letter and they fill it out. And pretty much, I would say 95% of the time when you talk to those clients, the rest of it is through email and texting. I almost never got on the phone with my clients, almost never. So it's really cool for introverts that don't like to talk on the phone. I hate talking on the phone, um, but you do have to do it when they're brand new. They need to build that trust. They need to feel like you're listening to them. They need to feel like you understand about their business. So you have to get on at least one or two phone calls at the beginning. Other than that, it's really all done through Facebook, email, texting. And the other cool part is most of the people that you're going to be working with have businesses that they're running during the day. So they want to communicate with you in the evenings, in the weekends, 
that's usually when we're around and we're flexible because we're staying at home with our kids and it's okay if we want to text our, uh, our clients at night or on the weekends. Once you grow your business, you may change and shift those hours and that's okay. But in the meantime, it's great because you can do it all when your kids are in bed. If your kids go to bed, if you're lucky enough that your kids all go to bed at like eight o'clock and then you can do all the work at night, you can definitely, definitely do that. You can actually even have discovery calls at night. They don't even have to be, the calls don't even have to be during the day. Business owners actually would probably really appreciate that because they're busy running their business during the day and they might want to, they might rather talk to you at night. I did a lot of work like that in the evenings. So I love, I love that question. That was uh, such a great question. What do you guys think about that? How many of you guys on here are introverts? Say I, if you like the idea of never having to get on a phone call or very rarely having to get on phone calls with clients. Um, I want to know. Um, I was also, we we're like so much almost out of time. I was going to share with you guys a whole bunch of wins um, in the academy, but there was like 60 comments of wins. So I don't know if I can get through them, but I might, I might do that. First, I'll go to these questions. Uh, let's see. Sulima says, I love your transparency. It does take changing your mindset. Yes, absolutely. Um, and Aaliyah says, I do have a four month old who is very unpredictable. When I receive the call from your team, does my background have to be completely silent? I know it sounds like a silly question, but I want to be prepared because I am at home with my son alone. So if it'll be better to hold off on the call, I will. No, um, April or Aaliyah, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, we have, we do not care if your kids are on the call. That's what we're all about. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to apologize. My team is going to have their kids in the background too. So the call may be interrupted by their kids as well. It's life. It's how we all work. And it's completely acceptable. Um, your clients will have to get used to it. You'll have to get used to it. It's just, it's just how it is. And you know what? It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's great to be able to do that. So don't worry about it being quiet. We love the babies on the calls. We love the kids. No big deal. Um, just I would suggest what would be helpful is if you do have a significant other that you're going to need to talk about this with, it's really helpful to have them on the call as well so they can hear it. Um, just makes it a little bit easier. So that way you guys can get all of your questions addressed on the call, but no big deal either way. Um, yes, I love not having to talk to people on the phone. Uh, Michael Lena says, what is the first step to take to get started? First step is uh, booking a call with our team. If you are ready to learn more about this program, I want you guys to all stop right now, go to the calendar link, book a call. Let me put it in there again so you guys have it. Um, that was the wrong link. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to paste it in here. So you guys have it again. So grab that link, get on our calendar so we can chat about this and help you determine what the next step is. Janelle says, I, 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 <laughs> um, let's see. Tony says, how do you price a startup engagement letter when they don't have a loan yet? How do you price a startup engagement letter? I'm not really sure what your question is. Can you uh, like rephrase that or give me a little bit more detail, Tony, if you're still watching? Um, Justine says, thank you for this great call. Very motivated and ready to jump into it. Awesome. I'm super excited for you. I'm, I just, I'm so passionate. I love helping you guys transform your life. I feel like a bookkeeping business is the fastest, quickest, and most fun way to do it, but I'm all about tra uh, just transforming your guys' lives. It's so exciting. Angela says, I literally hate talking on the phone. Yes. Who doesn't? I mean, who doesn't? I think also having kids sometimes makes you even more of an introvert. Um, so I can totally relate. Totally relate. Uh, Janelle says, I don't mind talking to people. I just hate the phone. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand that too. You can always do Zoom calls and you can actually always meet people in person, but there's a little bit less pressure if you do it over the phone. Uh, Sulima says, I almost wanted to plan to get an office but I really want to stay home and work with clients. Yes, yes, I would definitely stay home. Having an office location for your bookkeeping business is something you can explore down the road. Uh, I tried it, but I really, I'm the type of, type, type of mom that just, I wanna be home all the time, as annoying as that can be sometimes with your kids interrupting you working and, and just going back and forth all the time. I really prefer the chaos of being at home and being available for my kids, so um, I don't really like having an office, but I do have a couple of students that have decided to go out and get an office and they have like a brick and mortar location for their bookkeeping business. Now it's always an option. 
Richard said, thanks, I have another appointment, would love to speak to the UK agent. Ciao, good luck. Yes, if you're in the UK, we have an awesome UK rep as well. So hmm, give me an idea. Maybe we'll start having Lisa hop on some calls um, for all of you UK awesome people. Janelle says, oh, I missed the name of your actual website for Have Your Cake and Eat It Too. Uh, yes, it is stayathomebookkeeper.com. That is our website. Thank you so much. Uh, you found it, Janelle. That is correct. Uh, Angela says, that's awesome. I had a job recently and they didn't like if there was distractions in the background. Yes, that's the other thing. Like, sure, there are like plenty of work at home jobs available right now, but there's so many restrictions on them. They're low pay and you can't have background noise or you have to work all these weird hours or structured hours. And then you still need someone to come watch your kids. You don't have to do that with a bookkeeping business. You can work whenever you want with whoever you want in the background at any point of the day and you still make $100 an hour. So it's fantastic. It's super awesome. Um, let's see. I think I say, um, let's see all the time. Um, what is the best work schedule and homeschool? <laughs> That's a loaded question. Um, it depends on your schedule and it depends on your preferences. So like how it depends on what age your kids are, how much you want to homeschool, what structure you like to follow. Um, and then what are your preferences? Like, are you a morning person? Do you guys like to stay up late? Like there's so many variables to that. Uh, so and for me, for me, for our family, it literally changes every two weeks. Um, having five kids, I swear, they're all in like a different developmental stage. They're all transitioning to a different stage, like every couple of weeks. So our life is like, our schedule is like upside down all the time. And then sometimes I feel really motivated. I'm like, I'm going to get up at five o'clock every morning and I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to start working. And, and then I get really tired and I'm like, that was stupid. So I'm going to sleep in and cuddle with the babies until I feel like getting up at like eight or eight 30. And then sometimes I'll, since I get such a late start, then I'll work a little bit at night. Um, I'd like to say after they go to bed, but we are a little weird family and our kids don't ever go to bed without us. And so there's no part of the day where I do not have a kid by me. Um, so we just like really change our, our schedule around any time that we want, whatever like makes the most sense for our family. So you can do that. And that's the beauty of it. Like there is no best work schedule or best homeschool schedule. It's whatever is working for you that week. <laughs> and you have the flexibility to change it. Uh, Tony says, how do you price helping a business start when they don't have a loan yet? My friend is going to open a cafe and we are looking for, oh, and they're, okay. So you're working with a startup company and they need bookkeeping help, they need your guidance, but they aren't necessarily making any money yet, okay? So you have a couple of options. Since it's your friend, you could work out a deal that you do her bookkeeping for her and you help her through this process. And once she gets started, then she can pay you a higher monthly fee going forward to cover all of the back work that you did. Or you can calculate how many months of bookkeeping that you're going to be doing for free for her in the beginning. And then she can pay you in a lump sum when she gets her first month of revenue or something. You could do that because it's a friend. If it's not a friend, I would suggest still charging your same normal rate. If somebody is going to go in and start a business, they know there's going to be expenses that come along with that. And having a good bookkeeper and a good tax accountant right out of the gate is an expense that they should be prepared for, that they need to invest in, and they should have the money for that as they're going in. It's just as important as buying all the coffee stuff that they need and the chairs and tables and the other employees and everything. So none of those people are going to work for free. None of the furniture is going to be put into the, into the building for free. So you shouldn't work for free either. Um, you're going to be way more valuable to the business than all of that other stuff anyway, combined. So I would suggest still charging the same as you would if they were an active, like rolling business. Uh, Sulima says, I have four sons. One is 23, 21, 13, and seven. I know what you mean. Sounds like me. Yes. Yep. Yep. Every day is a little different. So you can just, uh, you know, and also too, when you are structuring your schedule, you have the flexibility to decide 
Um, is this schedule working for my kids? Are they thriving in this schedule? Because if they're not, you can tweak it. So I, what I tell students, and we actually just had a long conversation about this in the academy a couple of weeks ago, is uh, self-awareness is a, a business owner superpower. It's also a mom superpower, honestly. If you're self-aware about um, what's going on in your life and how you're structuring your day and what's going on with you, that gives you the ability to make tweaks and adjustments because your life is never going to be like perfect. And there's always going to be places where you can tweak and adjust things. And so if you're just aware of those kinds of things, then you can make, make adjustments. So don't ever feel like, uh, you know, hard on yourself because your schedule is a mess or it's not working this week or that week or whatever, because you can just change it. You can always just change it. Candace says, if someone started with the DIY course, but then felt like they really needed the academy, happens all the time, have you ever prorated the academy cost? The academy covers all of what's in the DIY course. So if you have invested in the DIY course recently, we will apply what you've invested in the course to the academy. Um, typically, if you enroll in the academy first, you get the DIY course for free. Um, but go ahead, Candice, and book a call with us because we will definitely um, consider that on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on uh, when you've enrolled in the DIY course and um, if you're wanting to move forward with the academy. So definitely book a call with us and chat. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, everyone has had some amazing questions today. This has been awesome. Uh, since you guys, there's so many people still on here, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go over some really cool student wins that we collected this last week. Um, there's some really amazing ones. So I'm going to share these. If you guys have questions about any of these, uh, let me know. Um, let's see. A lot of people were commenting, got my first client, got my first client. Uh, Chelsea, we have to congratulate Chelsea. She is working with a profit consultant and this guy currently does bookkeeping for 30 clients, but he doesn't want to anymore. He wants to focus on the profit consulting part and he wants to outsource the bookkeeping work to Chelsea. So she is going to be taking on a lump sum of 30 clients by this connection that she's made in the process of growing her business which she said is going to be a huge pay jump, which I think it says uh, fifth, uh, approximately an extra $15,000 a month by this one connection that she made in her bookkeeping business. And just for context, so you guys know, a year ago, about a year ago, Chelsea started her business. She was uh, working from home and had a home daycare. So she was taking care of five kids. She grew her bookkeeping business while she was doing that, was able to uh, let go of her home daycare business, focus on this uh, completely now. And she has now graduated and is a mentor in our academy. She has learned so much and has grown so much. And she has been able to come back now and help other people in our academy do the same. Uh, let's see, lots of new clients, lots of new clients, uh, bank account finally approved for John. Uh, Wendy got a first client, accepted her proposal, and this first client for Wendy paid her $2,400 in back work, so it was like a sign-on bonus, and this client is going to be paying $400 a month moving forward, so great first client, super exciting, so if you multiply that out for a whole year, so that is $4,800 plus the $2,400. So Wendy's first client over the next 12 months is going to pay her a total of $7,200. One client, guys. Only one client. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Allison is going to be doing bookkeeping work for a CPA who has a bunch of clients, it looks like. Um, another new potential for Allison. Uh, Jerusa had a verbal acceptance for a client paying her $697 per month. And then later he's going to add on payroll services. Uh, let's see. Sandra finally got a hold of a client that she's been trying to reach. Uh, and they finally signed their engagement letter and they are paying her $5,000 to clean up their books and $297 moving forward. That's an awesome one. Uh, Christy signing a new client tomorrow. 
Kindle got a new client that is a $3,900 clean on cleanup work. And then she has three new clients. One is paying her $300 a month. One is paying her $847 a month. And one is paying her $1,497. Let's add that together. So just in the last week, Kindle has added $35,000 to her annual revenue. Just in the last week. That is exciting. Uh, Leslie had a conversation with a CPA about partnering up. That's awesome. Uh, Abby signed two new clients for February, $125 a month client and a $450, $450 a month client. And she has a potential that's a referral from her favorite CPA that is going to pay $1,000 a month. So let's add that up. So that's almost $19,000 in annual revenue that Abby added this time. Carla signed a new client that's $1,200 cleanup and $300 a month going forward. Willow had a discovery call with an esthetician who just randomly found her on Facebook. That's awesome. Erica picked up her third client and more back work from another client that she already had. And Mora, Mora had really great news. She just had her first five-figure month and she blew right past the $10,000 mark. And she actually made $16,000 last month. Yay, Mora, that is awesome. And Mora, for context, was the um, previously a reality TV show producer. So that is awesome. Uh, no experience in bookkeeping. Gwen signed a new client, $4,200 down payment for the first half of 2021's books, and then $4,800 for the second half. Plus, they're going to be paying for ongoing services as well. And Carrie has two clients paying um, with reoccurring credit card charges at $297 a month each. So she has $600 a month. And then the last one that I want to share with you guys is a really special one, Vanessa, in our academy. She just signed a client paying her $75,000 in back work, I believe for like maybe the last five to eight years. I can't remember. She also learned how to do taxes because she was interested in that. So she's getting bookkeeping and tax work, but it's like $75,000 uh, that this person is paying her for the back work. And then they're going to be ongoing services as well. So, I mean, if, if that doesn't show you guys what this planting the money tree thing looks like, I don't know what would, because that is how it multiplies. And that's how you guys can like really have true, true freedom. Um, let's see. Janelle says, Oh, wow. Congrats. Yeah. Can you guys all just say like, put congrats in here to all of our students in the academy, just drop a comment that says congrats because they have really done amazing and it's really, really impressive. And those, those results, those testimonials, those uh, wins that were shared, that was just from the last seven days, guys, just in the last seven days, that's it. So super exciting stuff. It's really great. Um, Chelsea is a rock, rock star. Yeah, I, I love using Chelsea as an example. We have a ton of students. You can go into the Tuesday lives on our website and you can look back at a lot of the uh, student success stories and watch where we've interviewed Chelsea and Christina and Kaylee and Kendall and Casey and Vanessa and Kim. Like there's so many people that we've interviewed and you guys can um, see their, their journey was very similar to mine. It's very similar to the ebook. Um, Candace says, thanks for the response. I'm joining late, but I love to hear some of the, some of the best uh, ways most people end up getting clients successfully. My husband has been concerned about how long it would take me to even get a client after investing in training, knowing he himself is picky and choosing companies within his own job. He appreciates personal referrals because time is precious. Considering I'd be new, if I started, I wouldn't have connections or history with other clients. That is true, Candace, but it wouldn't take you long to build that up. And not everybody is going to need a personal referral, but once you get that built up, that's how you get to stop marketing because so many people will start to refer you. Um, you can get your first client in the first few weeks of joining the academy as long as you as you speed through and, and take action like right away. Um, and sometimes it takes a month or two to get your first client. So really just depends on your personality and, and your goals and your desire to step out of your comfort zone and take action. But you can definitely get it. And, and think long-term too, guys, like, like what I shared you with Vanessa, uh, she made $75,000 last week, last week with one client, but this is her 
probably second year, second full year in business. So, you know, you're, you're planting a tree and it will, it will sprout. You're going to get a lot of little wins here uh, along the way, but the real craziness, the real magic happens once you keep the consistency and you keep growing it and, and you keep expanding. So we call it the snowball effect in the Academy. It's kind of a joke because once you start rolling and you get that momentum going, then the snowball gets really big and all these clients come out and they're just like flying at you and you, you get pelted in the face with client snowballs. So that's kind of what it's like in the Academy. Um, thank you guys for, uh, uh, commenting below. Congrats to all the students. I am excited to share that with them. And, uh, if you are still watching and you haven't booked your discovery call with us, do it now. We want you to get on the calendar and we want to chat with you to talk about this on a, on a one-to-one, -one, a personal level as well. So, all right. Okay. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I come live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central time. So if you have questions, post them in the group. I will also answer them um, next Tuesday as well as we can answer them throughout the week, but um, book your calls and I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye Janelle. Bye Chelsea. Thank you guys so much.